Okay, one thing I almost always do is add uh, Neosis EQ on this guitar bus. Cheat a little bit more air in there. Um, sometimes I'll also use actual high-end boost as well. Subtle, just about a dB, dB and a half of uh, a boosting um, on, on the high end, uh, about 3K and up there, and then the, the air uh, boost as well. And it's really lifting up the high frequencies. It's making it a little brighter, a little crispier. Yep, it kind of brings out the electricity of the, of the guitars, I feel like, a bit. Um, otherwise, they're almost too smooth, too, round, too mm -hmm. rounded out. You kind of, that's something I do to sort of make them a little more abrasive uh, when you want that, you know, mm -hmm. especially with rock. It isn't about making it all clean and smooth. It's about... Mm -hmm. The right things feeling nasty at the right times and um, just overall dynamic and back and forth. Use air, air EQ for that. Another thing, uh, I'll get ready to go. We may, maybe won't, we won't use it yet, but I'll get ready to go is Kilohertz Snap Heap. And I have a setting I already saved as a preset, MK Snap Heap. You can hear all the guitars through it and you'll probably think it's wacky. Okay, so I got a little bit of compression going into some overdrive, um, some saturation, a ladder filter, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and then another sequence of filters. We'll actually tweak those more once I dial in the effect I want to do with it, which is something I do a lot. And we're going to automate this. So I'm going to just go to Enabled, add that to my plugin automation, so that way... When I go over here to my guitar aux, I can select Snap Heap Enabled. Awesome. Um, so setting it up to automate whether the plugin is on or off. Yep. So right now it's it's on everywhere. I want to actually take it off everywhere. So you, you can see when I go to the timeline of the song, mm -hmm. um, I guess it doesn't go. It's not an auto bypass thing. I'm just turning the plugin on and off. But mm -hmm. why do I have this ready to go? You ask. Well, that's. Uh, for some cool sound effects purposes. Um, well, let me find a cool spot to do it. So I wanna put it right in there. Um, and you'll, let me just change the grid. Eighth note and zoom, or sixteenth note and zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to enable it just right there. Oops. Did it too early. This is something I'll often do right before, um, right in a transition before another section, and I'll just add a little bit extra saturation. It seems kind of like I'm sending the guitars through a a ghetto blaster or something, mm -hmm. something like that. I'll even saturate that more. I know we're using some filters here on the snap heap, um, rolling off some low end, rolling off some high end. I want a little bit of a boost. Um. Maybe still filter more low end. See how that sounds in context of the track. Mm -hmm. 
Super cool. It does jump in a little loud, um, so I'll just take the gain down on the last. Kind of just adds separation between sections, makes um, makes the next section feel more dynamic because you lost something for a second. So um, there's different ways that I'll do that where sometimes I'll, I'll hard mute something, sometimes I'll filter just the drums and lo-fi them or, or do this kind of thing on the guitars. I think um, think of those things as just like, like fades between a transition, a way to introduce a new part and make a scene change. Um, and sometimes be able to do something really dramatic after that because you're kind of just like wiping the whole slate clean in a, in a sense and trick, tricking your brain a little bit. Um, that's cool. And that's something I'll, I might do in some different spots right now. We'll, we'll just try it there. But until I got the vocals in, I don't really know ever, everywhere I want to do that effect. So um, we'll just keep it in that one hole for now. And maybe later I'll copy and paste that same uh, bypass automation um, to where else I would want it. Mm -hmm. And that's the rough mix of the guitars. Awesome. This course is available in the Slate Digital All Access Pass, which gives you thousands of dollars worth of award-winning plugins the industry's most game-changing synthesizer, Anna 2, and the very best masterclass production courses taught by the industry's biggest pros, all for $14.99 per month.